having a little snake snack. I love eating big carrots. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Abby Jack. So if you've noticed, I've been making weekly videos and for this week's video, I've decided I'm gonna do a weekly vlog. Today's Monday, so let's do it. So another day in the exciting life of Abby Jack. I just went to the dentist and I absolutely hate the dentist. I feel nauseous the second I get in the door. The like rubber gloves on teeth <laughs> make me feel so queasy. So I'm just recovering from that now. Pretty soon my sister's coming home to visit. So maybe she'll be featured in the vlog because she's the only one in my family that hasn't been in one of my videos yet. Hey, say hey to the vlog. Hey vlog. So my mom and I just went grocery shopping and we went to Valley Village. I love thrift shopping and I'm probably going to do a whole video on a thrift haul, but I only got a couple of things today. I always wash this stuff before I wear them. It's often hit and miss with thrifting, but I just wanted to show you guys. The first thing is just these shorts. They're just plain black, um, but I needed another pair of summer shorts and they're uh, Tallulah, which is from Aritzia. So I thought that was a good steal and they were $3.99. Then I got this shirt. It's kind of hard to see. They ha it has lines on them that I thought was like kind of a cool pattern, and that was six bucks. So, just got those two things, and I'll show you some of the groceries. We bought this frozen Greek yogurt, so let's try it out. Yes, queen. Mmm, that's so good. So for dinner, we're gonna make these zucchini boats that I saw on Pinterest. So, I can show you guys that. This recipe is super easy. All you need is rice, tomatoes, zucchini, cheese, broccoli, peppers, and any other vegetables that you want. Then you can use ground beef, turkey, or chicken, or no meat at all. And after you've washed all of your vegetables, you're just going to want to cut the zucchinis in half and hollow out the centers. Put the inside of the zucchini in a bowl because you'll want that for later. And now you can chop up the inside of the zucchini and broccoli and whatever vegetables you want to put in there. We also put in some tomato. I think onion would be a good one as well. And then you're just going to add all of your vegetables and rice to your meat on the stove. I added some spice. Let that saute for a couple minutes and then you can serve it up inside of your zucchinis. You can add grated cheese to the top and then throw it in the oven, but don't actually throw it in. On 425 for about 10 to 15 minutes, however long you think is necessary. Vlogger! Just went for a run, now I'm going to roll out. What? Pawed me so hard. Ew. Hi, Corky. Don't put your needle like that. Just trying to be chill for the vlog. Not barking. Corky, attack Abby. Attack. <laughs> attack. This is so nice. If you think this is gross, then I don't like you. I enjoy life. Who gave you those cool headphones? My brother. Me, 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 me. <laughs> maybe, you, maybe the people want to see. <laughs> oh, this is easy. Give the people what they want. I did that in kindergarten. Funky. <laughs> Stop. Do you guys think we look like? <laughs> I just went to the gym. I just ran. No licking, please. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just put on a eye repair mask over my um, under eyes to diminish dark circles. And I also put on a Dead Sea salt and mineral mask. So it's about 10 p.m. now and I'm just getting ready for bed. I think I'm going to read a little bit, maybe watch some Netflix, but my dog always sleeps with me, so she's here. Don't mind this here. There's Sleeping Beauty. Over here I have this Sage candle diffuser or Sage, whatever. So it has water and oil at the top and then this burns. And I have this diffuser from Amazon. And if you know me, you know I don't have a sense of smell, but I love essential oils because I just find them really calming. 
even though I can't smell them. But I can still breathe them. Then over here I have my Himalayan salt lamp. And this little lavender oil thingy. And this little rock placemat I made. Then I have this chair that I put my tapestry around with some lights underneath. Kind of DIY. And I just have this little thing. So of course the one exciting thing to happen to me this week, I wasn't able to vlog so I didn't bring my camera with me. But today I went to Toronto for a meeting and I was walking down the street and I saw the Nelk boys walk by with construction vests on. So I met them and we got a pick, I'll insert it here. And they are, if you don't know who they are, they're basically kind of viral pranksters and they are so funny. So you guys should check them out, but that was pretty funny. Hey guys, you're supposed to say it, Dad. Sorry. So we're on our way to go rollerblading. Heck yeah. See Katie, see this? You can't oh. rollerblade on this. Oh, and we're wearing helmets because safety first. Wear a helmet in the car just in case. You never well. know. Thumbs up if you like rollerblading. For those of you who went to wheelies, explain what wheelies is. Well, I don't know. I never went. Yes, you did. It's like an indoor roller. I probably park. went with you it's to every... one of your to one of your friends' parties. Every grade seven and eight birthday party, we go there, and there's this game called snowball. Where That's they play, like you romantic can, yeah. slow. You can do snowball with um at a dance too, though. Okay, whatever. They play romantic slow emo music. Like per, give me like I miss you by Blink 182. And a guy would come across and pick you, and I would a never get picked or just hide because I was so scared. And this is how you dance with rollerblades. Come here. Well, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't dance. Yes, you would. You dance. That's you not hold on to the other person. No, and no, I you would. wouldn't. Yes, I think you, you just held hands, and then they would go snowball, <laughs> and then you'd have to switch partners. Way to get cardio in. 